Hello, my name is Ashley McLean, and for my final presentation, I chose Frida Kahlo's self-portrait with a monkey. And so before I show you anything, or kind of like really talk about uh, the painting itself, I wanted to kind of briefly talk about Frida. So as a lot of people know, she's the woman who made many self-portraits with the, the classic unibrow and very inspirational and very unique. You know, when you talk about Frida Kahlo, most everybody knows who she is, even if they aren't necessarily into the art world. And so um, one of the main things that I learned during this research process is that she was actually very sick for the majority of her lifetime. She had a lot of spinal issues and mental issues and depression. And um, so one of the biggest things that was troubling for her was um, she suffered from a lot of miscarriages um, so she was not able to have kids, even though she was able to get pregnant um, quite a few times. She was never able to carry those to full term. So that's kind of very relevant to this painting because um, at first glance, it doesn't look like anything more than just um, a painting with a monkey in it. But uh, after I did some research, I was able to determine that the monkey actually represented the loss of all of the children, the many, many miscarriages. And so after learning that, I was able to kind of see this painting from a darker point of view. And so it's kind of sad to think about um, the main reason she started painting and sketching was because of all of her sicknesses. And one of the biggest sicknesses was not being able to carry a child to term. So a lot of her paintings probably have a much darker meaning than we're aware of. And, you know, as sad as that is, it's also what um, has kind of made her so famous because there's a lot more soul and a lot more passion in her artwork than other artists. So, um, you know, some of the main things that I was able to pick out, uh, she, she puts a lot of emphasis on layering. Let's see. Focus. So if you can tell, there's kind of a, a very substantial layering difference between, um, say, the leaves up here to the leaf here to the monkey to her. And I think that's very, um, it, it gives a different depth and a different space. Um, she also focuses on shadows, like underneath her chin and in her hairline. I don't know if you can tell. The light reflects off of it to kind of show you which way she's facing, which way um, the light would be reflecting on her. And there's also a very big difference between, you know, a big uh, proportion difference, scaling difference between her and the monkey, but it's pretty appropriate as to what would be expected um, if you were to put a real monkey next to somebody. Um, I think there's also a lot of emphasis on uh, the gaze, and what I see from the gaze is lost in thought, kind of zoned out of the world. It's not looking directly at the audience, it's looking just below as if not quite fully focused in on what is going on. Um, I think there's another major emphasis on the placement of the monkey's hand, like there's a very strong connection um, I think that's very significant as well. So, uh, once again, this is Frida Kahlo's uh, self-portrait with a monkey. And uh, I had a, a great experience researching this, and I think I learned a lot from this entire course. So, thank you.